Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to another episode. For today's episode, we're going to be unpackaging the Falcon Cockpit by Paragraphics. This is for the Diagostini 143rd scale Millennium Falcon. This is the studio scale slash one one scale. What we have here is a beautiful photo edge set. And this is probably going to be a pain in the ass to a film because the lighting wants to reflect off of everything. But we're going to do the best that we can for today. So what we're going to do, we're going to break everything out of the package, show you everything in detail. This is actually for issues 1 through 77 of the Diagostini kit. There are other sets which I do have and we will be doing those as we progress through the series. Alright, so here we are with the instruction booklets. Now I do already have a set of these for the 172nd Fine Molds kit. So I already kind of know the quality that ends up going into these. I have to say I have always been impressed by the quality. Going over the instruction sheet, it's very well laid out. You have materials. Uh, telling you about the raised details, lighting options. You can add a lot of fiber optics. This does come with a decal sheet, so even if you're doing backlighting on it, it's going to turn out really fantastic. It's going to show you the rear bulkhead basic assembly here, where to fold, how to fold it. On the inside, you have rear bulkhead decal application, main control center console, flight console, gives you great instructions on how to fold and place everything cockpit assembly the control yoke telling you where everything ends up going how to even fold things parts that you have to remove and if you remember in my last video that i ended up doing of the standard cockpit i was saying that part of it needed to be cut out and this is what i was talking about on here we'll go over that in more detail when i get to those parts on the back here you have the information for the cool shade. This part actually goes around that ring to add it more detail. Decal instructions, templates for the wall, uh, for the rear wall on the cockpit, telling you what parts to cut out and remove. Information on here, you can check them out at paragraphics.biz. They actually have a lot of sets for sci-fi kits. So definitely check them out if you're looking for quality photo etch parts. All right, so going over on these, one of the things you will want to do is it's usually suggested to brush over all the pieces with some sandpaper just to give it some texture. But you can see, and I, the video actually auto downscaled or not downscaled, but uh, turned down the tone on here just because of the reflection is so high. But as you can see, there are plenty of notches, light holes. You get these great little um, medallions that you can do whatever with. You get control yokes on here, control switches. You get the back door. You get the ring for the, the back door. This is the panel I was telling you about that goes over the, the cockpit. But once you start working with it and everything, it's going to come together. It's going to add a lot of detail to the kit itself. I have to say I am really impressed. Uh, I do have the other sets of these and I will be going over those in detail as well. But I wanted to give you guys a quick look at this before we start hacking it up and folding up the pieces. And of course, as I mentioned before in the photo etch video, I will be showing you guys how to assemble these, how to properly fold them, put them together, and we'll go from there. One of the things that you end up getting in the package are these decals. And these are by itgraphics.com. And I have to say, these are probably some of the best decals I have ever seen. They, of course, are water slide. But if you catch, there is actual metal in the decal. So you get that metallic reflection off of control panels, off of everything else. So these will actually end up all going over all of the photo etch parts that are there. And then you can light behind them. I got some tricks up my sleeve for that. I'm excited to show you guys that when I get there. All right, and that's it for this video. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and supporting my channel. If you like this video and you want to see more, definitely hit the like button down there. And if you haven't already, make sure and hit the subscribe button. 
I appreciate every one of those clicks. I do monitor. I do keep an eye on it. And it gives me motivation to keep on going. I'm going to see how long I can keep this daily thing going on and how long, how much stuff I have to do so. But I think I'm pretty good for most of the year. As usual, YouTube, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Talk to you guys all later. Peace out.